Welcome to the first episode of 12 Cooking with your girl Nita B. Taking shots for free. How you doing? Now I'm just playing. <laughs> What's up, world? It's your girl Nita B, aka Young Show, back with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title, I am remaking Taco Bell's Mexican Pizza. Because as y'all seen from the first video, the review, I did not like. I'm just sorry to say I did not like the Taco Bell pizza. It lacked flavor. It lacked seasoning. It lacked taste. It just, it wasn't it. So I decided to, why not put my own spin on it and remake it at home like I know it can be the bomb. So look, this y'all first time coming across this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Like this thing and turn the post notification bells on so y'all can know when I'm dropping these videos. So... Like I said, I'm making the Mexican Taco Bell pizza. So I got all my ingredients right here that I need right here. We got, well, I got the ground beef over there. I got the essential toppings of lettuce, tomato, cheeses. I got the Taco Bell. I mean, well, I don't have Taco Bell seasoning, but I have some taco yeah, this is taco sauce, not taco seasoning. Don't know what's wrong with me. Then, I got the El Pasinato tortilla shell. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to prep for all my preparations, and I'm going to get back with y'all. So, stay tuned, because we're about to make these things fire. They're going to be bust. Bust, bust. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see, we got the ground beef going. You know what I'm saying? Getting a little, getting a little brown on me. So, I have two different type of taco season. I have the mild McCormick and I have the cheesy McCormick. We're going to put those together, okay? So, as you see, the ground meat is getting brown. I'm going to add some seasoning, all right? I'm going to use some Tony Satrums. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's Tony Satrums. Season salt, you know. And that's what that's what Taco Bell was missing. Like it was really lacking flavor for me. Like that I don't even know if that's real ground beef to be honest with you. But it's real ground beef today. At least this what was at Walmart. They said it was real ground beef. So we just gonna let this cook like it do. You know what I'm saying? Wow. No. Just All right, y'all. Y'all can see that the meat is practically done, kind of. So, I'm going to start adding the taco seasoning. I'm going to add the mild taco seasoning first. Ooh, boy. Hold on. It just bust out on me. Hold on. All right. So, we're going to add this whole pack. Cool. Boom. So, stir that in. Not a trick. Look at me real quick. Not a trick into keeping your meat moist when you put the taco sauce in it. I mean, the taco seasoning in it. Put your little taco sauce in there. And it just makes the meat a little bit more juicy for you, you know? Because we don't need no dry meat. Look how they look on me. Hold on, get in now. Get in now. Everybody got to get some. So as we stir in this, might have to add a little bit more taco sauce. And just because I like, I want my meat. I want my meat to be a little cheesy. I'm going to add a half a pack of this. Not the whole pack. Just, just a half a pack. Alright. So, and then we stir that. Okay, my friends. We're going to let this simmer for another 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm going to get my preparation station together. And we're going to put this thing together. And we're going to make a Mexican pizza. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, you guys. You can see that meat is done. I done let it simmer down for another 15 
10 to 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? You see it's all juicy, you know what I'm saying? It ain't lacking no juice. It ain't dry. It look real flavorful, you know what I'm saying? So, I think I did my thing on this meat. What y'all think? Busted. Right. So, right now, I'm finna get ready to put my tortillas in the oven. I am preheating my oven to 375, but as you can see, it's going up. So, when I get these tortillas in the oven for like five minutes, y'all gonna see me put this creation together. Y'all, I cannot wait because Taco Bell was really, really a disappointment. Like, I was like ready for the hype. Like, y'all had that thing hyped up like it was gonna be the best Mexican piece I ever had and it was lacking everything. So, I'm gonna put my own thing on it, put my own spin on it and see what it's about to do. So, y'all stay tuned because I'm just as anxious and excited as y'all is so if you ain't liked this video yet man what you doing hit that like button because man this mexican piece about to be the mess the best mexican piece you ever seen on this thing you feel me go on like this video everything set up to make the pizza so now i got all my ingredients like just on the table on the bowl on the thing with the little thing y'all in and there go so as you can see i didn't get these out the oven that one kind of burnt a little bit because I love them in that too long. But you get the gist. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the pizza together. So, what we got to do is we get the beans. Refried beans, by the way. Spread it on the bottom. Hold on. You got to spread the beans now. I need an even set of beans. Get that thing. A Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Like, for real. Y'all done put number of beans with a teaspoon of meat. Like, come on. I need the beans spread it. Get a little bit more. Cause we gotta do two layers. We gotta be two layers. And I already broke a corner of it. So whatever, I'm eating it. Alright, so boom. After that, we go for the ground beef. Yeah, get the ground beef. Spread it. Evenly spread. Okay, cool. Then we're going to throw a little tomato, just a couple of tomato. Just, you know, douse it here now. Little tomato, tomato. Okay, boom. Then we're going to, I actually got the great value taco blend cheese. You know what I'm saying? It got shredded cheese, Monterey Jack cheese with a little bit of taco seasoning in it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing but a dollar and some at Walmart. Just a dollar and some. It ain't expensive at all. Put the cheese in there. Boom. All right. So, what do I do with my other shell, girl? Oh, I guess right here. Okay. So, boom. Layer number two. Put that one on top. But this rip, let me check it out. Now, this rip. That was, that was. I had looked up a couple videos to make sure I knew what I was doing. You, this is the sauce to go on top of it. It's the red enchilada sauce. Now you gonna layer. It's gonna act like the pizza sauce if you get what I'm saying. So you just layer it on top. Just like pizza sauce. That's all it is. I don't know why I didn't give a spoon. I got a fork. All right. Make sure they get on now. Hold on, don't seep off. Yeah, hold on, don't. Do me right, do me right. All right. So that acts like the piece of sauce. Do you put, nah, you don't put the meat. Okay, so on this, on this one, you just put the, uh, the tomatoes. Have fun with the tomatoes. Oh, Lord. This is bust out everywhere. And some cheese. Put as much cheese on the top as you would like. You can put as much as you like. As long as you like it cheesy. You like it cheese? I like it real cheesy. A little bit more cheese. I just, I just need that cheese bubbling. Oh, no. And then we're going to doop, 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 doop. Spread them out some so it can look like some. All right. So, boom. 
We're going to pop this thing back in the oven for a good five to ten minutes. No, by five minutes, because as long as it, as long as it takes for this cheese to melt, that's how long we're going to put it in now. So I'm going to put it in and I'm going to keep an eye on it. So we're going to be right back. Let's check on the pizza, you guys. Oh, that thing cooking, cooking. Look at that. How that cheese melting on that thing. That thing about to be good, fam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, look at that thing right there, y'all. That's what I call a perfection, a masterpiece. Just look at it. It kind of look like Taco Bell, but it ain't Taco Bell. You feel me? It's mine. Me. Need a B. So, y'all. I know this one thing Taco Bell did not do that I'm going to do. I'm going to add some jalapeno peppers, some sliced jalapeno peppers on mine. Because I love a little spice. So, I'm going to just, you know, put a couple more on there to make it look nice. And I'm going to put a little lettuce on top for the crunch. And one thing, one thing, if y'all remember my video, one thing I said that was lacking in that thing was a little dollop of daisy. So, I'm going to put a little dollar for daisy just for, you know, just for some moisture, a different type of, you know. So, boom. There you go. That's the perfection. Get in there. I finna cut into it. Cut it just like Taco Bell cut it. Just like a pizza. So, y'all can see the goodness that's inside of it. Dang, I need some better knives for something. That thing cheesy too. I ain't gonna eat cap. That thing was good. I don't wanna cut the pan either. Alright. So, ooh. Look at that. Would you look at that? Let me get a little piece of this so I can get everything in it bright. Would you look at that? That thing bussin' bussin'. You feel me? All right, y'all know before we put anything in our mouth, I don't care what you talking about, you gotta bless the food. So, by your head, player, by your head. Bow, amen. All right, so this is about to be the first bite. Y'all ready? Matter of fact, I'm gonna let y'all bite it first. Go on, give a good bite of that. Nah, okay, my turn. Let's see what it is. Baby, when I tell you, Taco Bell ain't got nothing on me. Taco Bell ain't going to beat me. Y'all, the flavors, the cheese, the sour cream, added that pipe. Man, that flavor, and then, you know, that jalapeno pepper just added that little heat at the end, just made it perfection. I think I did pretty good for making my first Mexican taco. I mean, Mexican pizza. <laughs> my first Mexican pizza. Mmm. Look. It's so good. I can't even talk no more. I don't want to eat it. Okay. Now, to really see the difference, you got to go get the pizza. Now, even though I said it ain't good, but you got to get the full experience. Go try the one at Taco Bell and then try to make it at home. It's super easy. It's super cheap. It don't cost nothing. And you will not be disappointed. And you can make more than one. So if you love it, or you got the munchies, and you lit like we is over here, because you know I got this little 1800 in my system. I'm a little lit right now. So I feel like Mexican and liquor just go together. I don't care. Like Mexican and a little bit of drink go good together. And man, this is the right food to get you right. So man, if you like this recipe, just go back through the video. Listen to what I'm saying. Go follow the recipe. Get the stuff that I said, and I got some of my mom. Man, that's not even buzzing. But yo, just listen to what I was saying. Go try it. Let me know if you tried it and liked it. Man, 
thank y'all for watching this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button because man i am turning up we get lit we just starting we just getting up there so man everybody that's new or existing thank y'all for watching this video like this video hit that subscribe button until next time anytime need to be out